My name is Owen Gill and this is my colleague Sheila Donegan and together uh, we run Maths Week Ireland. Um, I apologise for uh, two things, two words. One is uh, my use of an adjective as a verb uh, in widespreading. Uh, we want to get across the idea of spreading the uh, <coughs> news about maths to as wide an audience as possible. <coughs> so uh, we run Maths Week Ireland. Uh, we were here at uh, the gathering two years ago and we're delighted to come back and tell you a bit more about what we're doing. Uh, Ireland has a population of six and a half million. Uh, it uh, has two countries in it. And from the start, we decided that Maths Week should be inclusive. It should include the whole island. And I think this, uh, a couple of words we'll be using, hopefully uh, <coughs> give importance to the word inclusion and the word cooperation. And it happens every October and on the week, including the 16th of October, which is the day that William Rowan Hamilton, our most famous mathematician, uh, discovered the equation of quaternions and scratched them in the stone of this bridge. And this pilgrimage has been going on for many years, and Tony Farrell, who, uh, who's there on the bridge, invited us to build Maths Week around this pre-existing event. We have about 50 partners around the island, all the universities, uh, professional bodies, some visitor centres, who all uh, cooperate together to promote maths. So how does Maths Week work? Well, the first thing is that we design and we send age-appropriate posters to all schools in the country. Last year was the International Year of Maths of Planet Earth and the International Year of Statistics, so we included them. The media is very important, not only for publicising events, but also for um, getting the positive image of maths out and creating a positive awareness of maths uh, all throughout the country uh, during that week. So what do we do in Maths Week? We've, as we run a number of events centrally. Our partner centres also organise events where they invite local schools and the public in to hear uh, different types um, of maths activities. Uh, we also bring a number of international speakers over, some of whom uh, you might recognise here. Um, we've been delighted to, to bring them over. We also have web-based activities. And we also have events and activities that our partner centres do locally and then we bring them to a national audience. Okay, so we try as well to have as much variety as possible and maths in unexpected places because we want to challenge people's perception of maths. Um, who, you know, to take it out of the classroom and out of the textbook. <coughs> we do a maths in the city. Here we have about 40 volunteers in the city centre in Dublin. And we do that in Dublin and Belfast and we hope to extend it to other cities. Uh, and here we engage unsuspecting uh, shoppers uh, <coughs> in a very positive way with recreational maths. We also have maths in the pub for adults, of course, um, and uh, we also have Stone Age maths. Here's a 5,000-year-old passage tomb that's astronomically aligned, and uh, we're asserting the place of maths in our history and in our culture. Our partners also develop uh, activities that can be made available not just locally but across the whole island and uh, some of these include a mat size a poster competition for all ages including adult learners and families has been very successful uh, teachers uh, association have moved their annual conference into maths week now and they have a much bigger attendance now they were attracting about 500 teachers uh, last year uh, so this is very positive both for the partners uh, and for us uh, we both benefit from it. <clears throat> One of the great things we brought home from the last gathering for Gardner was the idea of the SNAP Maths Fair uh, that we learned from Andy and Tanya. And Tanya came over uh, last June and uh, did a workshop with teachers and we're delighted to have our first SNAP Maths Fair in, uh, back in October. <clears throat> and it was a huge success and it, it's such an exciting project and we hope this will become a major part of Maths Week in the future. Uh, we also partnered with the Botanic Gardens in Dublin for our celebration of mind. Maths Week, by a happy coincidence, can stretch from Hamilton Day to include the celebration of mind. We partnered with the Botanic Gardens. Uh, we had about 20 volunteers doing recreational maths with the group. The, the, the Botanic Gardens had their annual Halloween pumpkin fair on. Since we uh, joined up with them, they've attracted much, much bigger crowds, and we had 4,000 uh, in the day uh, last year. <clears throat> so again, it's all about cooperation and partnership that uh, we've achieved this. <clears throat> so what has uh, come out of it? Uh, last time we were here, we were able to tell you we had about 150,000 participating. 
now we had uh, almost 170,000 pupils doing activities in school uh, with their teachers. Uh, these are the schools around the island participating. And with all the other events, over 200,000 people participated. We had our media coverage then got the positive message of maths into the homes of millions. <coughs> and um, we're confident that this will continue to grow. We hope that there's something of interest here for you. Maybe some of you might want to ask us about it. That We're here all week. We'd love to talk to you. We don't have much time in, in the allotted space to, to tell you much more about it, but we'd be delighted to speak to you at any time during the festival. So thank you very much.